Welcome back to the wrap up as we head to District 5A, where they're into district play now, them in 6A as well. Dumas was in town taking on Randall. Dumas had the week off last week, while Randall got a uh, win over Lubbock High last week. Or they fell. Dumas, Dumas got a win over Lubbock High, and then There's Randall fell to Coronado right. last week. But how did the Demons look? You were out there at the game. Uh, it was a little bit really defensive early, I'll say that much. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we also had Canyon taking on Hereford, as we mentioned, who's undefeated so far in the season. The Eagles got their first victory last Friday over Big Spring. But again, going into Herd territory where they've been doing phenomenal so far, not an easy task by yeah, any Yeah, they means. rolled through just about everyone they've played, so a tough task for the Eagles tonight. Well, last night, district play officially opened with Caprock taking on the Sandys, who were searching for their first win, and you out at that one. I was, and it was very cold. I'll just say that. And wet. <laughs> yeah, I went out to the game, and... I was creeping on the umbrella and the poncho crew. I was like, I want one of those. <laughs> we'll pick it up here in the first quarter. Nathan Betts hands it off to Blake Bedwell and Caprock unable to recover the fumble in bounds. Then later in the drive, Sandy's here. Betts gonna take the hand off to Bedwell, but he's gonna keep it himself. 21 yards for the first score of the game. Seven nothing Sandy's. Now second quarter was slippery out there, folks. Tariq Williams keeps it up the middle, but the ball Pops out and Brady Bartholomew scoops it up. Look at this. Whoop, cuts back, goes 68 yards to the house. Sandys go up 14 nothing. That's how you start the game when you haven't won a game all season. Yeah, and then later in the second quarter, Amber Lyon top 21 to 0, and Caleb King gonna break through. Man on a mission takes it 67 yards to set Williams up. This King one in the north. Yeah, gonna be a quarterback keep. Seven yard TD to get the rock on the board, 21 to six. The PAT would be blocked and Amarillo High gonna get their first win of the season last night, 42 to 20 over the rock. All right, Canyon Eagles, like we mentioned, head into Hereford. Canyon yet to play a home game. Eventually they'll get to Kimbrough, but not tonight. Second quarter, it's tied at seven. Dodge Delosier finds Slater McCracken. What a name, Slater McCracken. Unleash the Kraken because he's going to break a couple table tackles down to the 33 yard line. Big 30 yard gain. Next play, Seth Dixon. Star player. Going to punch it in and that's how you get it up going. 14-7, Hurd. Then a little Herd. later. <laughs> <laughs> then a little bit later, Luton Reichel. Lawton. 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 Luton Lawton. Sorry. He's going to find Casey Hager. That's a nice game. So a little bit of laundry come in there. Same drive. Reichel finds Seth Nickel. Wide open, 35 yards. He can just walk into the end zone. That knots it up at 14, but that'd be the last time the Eagles scores. They fall in this one, 35-14. Wow, Herford remaining undefeated. Now, DJ, as we mentioned, you're out of this one at Kimbrough Stadium. That's right. This one, scoreless, early, and often. You can see the players shaking hands there. Two great defenses, so not a surprise. We're going to pick this one up on the first scoreless. Randall punting. It's a nice little punt there. Gets it on the bounce. Maybe should have just let that one go because he doesn't secure it. Randall would come down with it, but they get a couple penalties there on the scrum. Drive them back, they'd have to punt. Then in the second, the snap goes over Landon Nix's head. The Demons will recover inside the 10, setting us up on the next drive. Noah Quintanilla, a name we know well. Mm -hmm. He's going to bootleg it out to the right and then wide open in the end zone. Wyatt Lay there for the touchdown. Dumas goes up 7-0 there, and they get the big win here on the road, 31-7. Now 1-0 in district play. Now let's head out to Plainview. Take well, actually, before we do that, we have uh, Lee Passmore on the phone. Oh, that's right. He was out at the game calling this one. Lee Passmore from the Amarillo Globe News. Lee, we saw a really defensive game there early. Obviously, Dumas gets a lot of points there at the end. But uh, talk about just how sloppy it was earlier than the way it transgressed. Well, yeah, yeah, it was not. It looked like we kind of feeling each other out as far as it being a district opener and maybe not being as crisp as they could. Dumas had an off week um, to get ready for this game. But, yeah, it was it was about defense, certainly, in the first half. Um, Randall only ended up with four yards of offense on the first half. That's a little misleading, though, because it was a botch snap resulted in a 25-yard loss. That was that kind of hurt their total. Um, they only had 111 yards against that Dumas defense, which is pretty impressive. Uh, linebacker Paul Hernandez, his name was called all, all night at Kembro. He was uh, he was all over the place, but he had, but it's kind of what you expect defensively from a Chad Dunham coach team. That's right. You know, we saw a couple of uh, muffed punts there. Randall came down with a couple of big recoveries. Uh, do you think maybe some of the week off was a layoff there, caused a little bit of the rust and a lot of the penalties? I, that that could be. Both teams had a lot of penalties in this game. Randall it finished with over, I think, about 108 yards in penalties, almost as much as they had in offense. Dumas had 85. 
Yeah, there are some false starts and that sort of thing. You know, kind of in contrast to last night's game with Amarillo High and Caprock when they were they didn't call any penalties until the fourth quarter there. But hey, um, it was a little bit different. It was more a defense oriented game. But Dumas, they kind of I think wore Randall down a little bit. Randall's defense was on the field a little too much in the second half, and Dumas just totally dominated the fourth quarter, and that ended up ended up being the difference. All right, Lee, well, we appreciate you calling us in. As you can see there, Dumas gets the big win, 31-7 on the road. District play well in action. We'll hear again more from Lee later in the season. All right, let's take you now. I jumped the gun earlier. Out to Plainview, the Dons on the road. It's a quick bootleg deep route for Dondre DeGreat. And it's right through his hands. Ooh. Ooh that one you're going to wish you had that. Yeah. Now a quick pass to, to Tony Green. And he gets past one, two dogs, but. Ooh. Third, surely knocks him out of bounds. That'd be Aiden and Garcia. Now another quick pass here to Jeremiah Patterson. The 6-3 wide out. He puts uh, Aiden Garcia out of bounds. Yeah, then we're going to get a great punt return here. Gustavo Garcia, Demarius White with the monster block for the Bulldogs. Going to set him up there. Fortunately, we didn't get any scores in this game, but there were some because PD got the win 30 to 23. So Dons get their first win, and yeah, it's a con- district win. Yeah, congratulations to the Dons, certainly. Big win there over Plainview. Well, coming up, we got Odessa High in town taking on the Tuscosa Rebels. We're going to have Lance Lanner call in to recap that game for us as well. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the wrap-up.